Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on February 14th, 2024. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet, and welcome to the Daily Do on Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day to all you lovers out there. A little bit later update tonight on space weather, earthquakes, volcanoes, and world weather. Always starting out here looking at our sun for the, for the past 48 hours. Pretty large plasma filament leaping across the surface, northeast region of our sun there. Having a look at the last 48 hours incoming. Cresting into view, we did have some pretty large activity on the back side of our sun. Cresting into view, that was all visible, the large plasma loops. And as well, activity on the outgoing side. There's been multiple CMEs taking off from the sun and quite a few of them have been heading our way, giving Earth a solar radiation storm. Having a look at the last 48 hours of events, multi-spectrum, just another beautiful way to see our sun, safe and beautiful way to look at our sun. And here you can see the coronal hole regions pointed out they are the cooled regions on our sun they do produce increased solar winds right now our solar winds are sitting at about 430 kilometers per second and that is we are going through s2 which is a level 2 solar radiation storm and as well an r2 so radio blackout high frequencies expected we have seven sunspot regions to talk about, and looking at them here, we have a few black holes on our sun. The two uh, in the north, they've been, they grew really fast and then just started spreading away from each other right there. Highly fluid across the equator. Current space weather conditions, as I said, R1, R2. Solar radiation storm is in effect. And the solar influx is coming down now. Solar X-ray flux showing M-class solar flare from yesterday. Two of them hopping in the C range right now. Solar proton flux starting to come down. Geomagnetic activity has really come down. That might be ahead of what is coming at the end of the night tonight and into tomorrow. Having a look at the Space Weather Prediction Center spiral including all the CMEs that took off towards Earth. They seem to update it each day, and now they know one, two, three sizable CMEs heading our way. And we are going through those effects right now. Most of the solar storm did head south of our planet. But just some amazing images a little green circle, our planet Earth, being bombarded by solar winds up and over 400 kilometers per second right now, and normally around 2 to 50 to 300. ISWA space prediction spiral showing the same thing here. The little yellow circle is Earth. And then all the coinciding planets on our solar system around. That latest CME heading out the back was towards Venus. Now let's have a look at Alaska 3, showing the last 48 hours of events taking off from our sun. Big backside CME, as we just saw on the ISWA. And there's all the most recent activity we've seen. Wow, amazing images on our sun. And you can see all that intense radiation and cosmic energy infiltrating the satellite images here. Coming right at you. And just recently, a backside CME, creating a full halo CME, affecting the whole surface of the sun. Now let's get to earthquakes past 24 hours, as it's been pretty busy. Interesting swarm still in California. We're going to get to that in just a moment. Largest earthquake the last 24 hours, 6.0 in Chile. Velinar, Chile, at a 22-kilometer depth off the coast and a not a very populated region, few people in small towns throughout there may have felt it, but not affecting humanity. And then look at all this notable activity right east of the Michael Volcano, 
South Sandwich Islands. So this is east of the Mica Volcano, which is the center volcano of that subduction zone. And then earthquakes warm here. Mexico City, White City, still going on. And then interesting new swarm here in California, Westmoreland, just north of where the earthquake swarm was from a few days ago. Show you here exactly where these earthquakes are occurring. USGS reporting 265 earthquakes the past 24 hours, most recent being a 4.7 in Petersville, Alaska. Seismicity is still bouncing. Hawaii, Alaska, and California. So here's our new swarm. We've got a small swarm, Calipatria, just south of the Salton Sea, and as well, Westmoreland, California, Calexio, Imperial, California. And just south there is where we had the most recent swarm, swarm through El Centro, California. So something is brewing definitely right up that fault line, that red line running right up the Salton Sea, right into the San Andreas. Something is definitely building. Seismicity on both sides here. And as well, notable activity here west of Yellowstone, but nothing major to report, minor at best. And as well, notable across the New Madrid. Pretty small earthquake here to report. 1.7 in Greenback, Tennessee, and as well, Oklahoma, seeing a couple minor shakers, and Texas. As well, I did want to note that there was no tsunami with this earthquake as it was offshore and pretty shallow earthquake, 22 kilometer depth. We did have another sizable 6.0 earthquake and that was in Micronesia. Colonia, Micronesia. We'll get to that here in just a moment. 5.8 earthquake, Vanuatu. As well, our deepest earthquake the past 24 hours, 564 kilometer depth, Tonga, 4.5. And then here through the Philippines and the Banda Sea, still seeing multiple earthquakes throughout the day, 6.0 there, Micronesia. And then a pretty deep earthquake for the region, in Japan, 5.2, 372 kilometer depth, Volcano Islands, all these submarine volcanoes through the region, something is definitely building across the pacific plate right now it's eerily quiet through europe in the indian plate africa right now and yesterday it was quiet through south america but today interesting 6.0 in chile so heads up my friends and family from around the world i know i have subscribers in over 150 countries worldwide if you are in earth in an earthquake prone zone just be ready have a go bag ready and know what you need to do during such a disastrous event. This is looking at the last seven days for shakers around the world. Thank you everybody for almost 70,000 followers. We are really, really close. So please keep sharing and caring this channel while caring for the channel. This is an amazing and loving community and I appreciate you all. Heads up, Cascades, straight up into Alaska. Now let's have a look at the SO2 forecast brought to you by Windy.com. Having a look at the three-day forecast, still quite a bit of SO2 particulates straight across North America. And as well, big plume coming out of Mexico through Popo Paquerito and Fuego. Notable activity sweeping across eastern United States. And then big cloud coming out from the North Pacific, from the Kamchatka. Very big plume coming out of Peru. Must have been an eruption at Sabancaya or Uluan volcano. Those are the two active and erupting through those regions. That's a pretty large eruption. Sakurajima had the same thing. Very large eruption. Huge pyroclastic cloud reaching up to 3,000 feet. You can see the plume coming out of southern Japan there, and as well the active volcanoes through eastern Russia. But lots of SO2 particulates across the northern hemisphere right now, and this has been building and building. Since now we have 42 active 
and erupting volcanoes across the planet. Having a look at Southeast Asia, Africa, Australia, and all through Indonesia, in, up into uh, Fiji. I think Kilauea is getting ready to erupt. We're going to be watching the summit called Dare over the next few days, keeping a close eye on that. Now let's have a look at world weather, brought to you by Windy.com. Having a look, Africa, Southeast Asia, and Australia, strong systems building. And as well, multiple systems affecting Madagascar. Watch for the low pressure system in the long range here, 29th to the 30th, Northern Territory of Australia. And as well, possible cyclone development east of Madagascar in the long range. Notable here, pretty big system. It will be just missing southern Australia, but set to bring in quite a bit of moisture for New Zealand in the long range forecast. Other than that, no major systems affecting. Overlooking North America, we've got multiple lows coming in this week. Tonight and into tomorrow, there will be snow throughout Ontario and as well the Atlantic provinces, but most of the systems are staying off the coast, East Pacific, right up into Alaska. Watch for this low pressure system in the long range. We'll finally get across the mountains and split, and we're gonna see some moisture into the long range forecast. But right now, winter is still in effect, and Ontario is set to see one of its largest winter storms over the next couple of days. We'll have to see what happens here. They're forecasting 10 centimeters to 15 centimeters. I think maybe we'll get five. Overlooking Europe, pretty strong low pressure system here, moving through the Mediterranean, and as well some strong lows to the North Atlantic. We'll be sweeping across Ireland, the UK, and then into Norway. Now let's have a look at our upper level winds as our polar vortex, literally almost overnight, has changed. It has split. It has broken down and has split. If you'll notice in yesterday's video, I did show our polar vortex and it was spinning around Siberia and it kind of looked like a six. All of a sudden it has switched and we've got two. One, I mean, the two opposite spinning systems merging into each other. One low, one high. And that's going to start fueling down some pretty cold temperatures across North America. We're already feeling it here in Ontario. It was minus seven this morning. But watch for this to break down and start to bring in some really cold temperatures, possibly some record-breaking cold temperatures heading out of spring. There's still lots of time left. Much love, everybody. Hope you enjoyed the show. Smack that like button. Stay aware and prepared. Stay young and have fun. And get your morning due. Your daily events worldwide. Bye-bye. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world. Thank you.